Hey guys, it's Sankar and today I'm going to show you how to turn this drop into color base using different techniques. So I'm going to show you various ways on making color base thanks to Black Lotus Audio. So this video is sponsored by Black Lotus Audio. So Black Lotus Audio has some of the best dubstep color base presets for Vital. So this job was constructed using one of their packs, Machina for Vital. So all the bases used here are Vital bases from Machina by Black Lotus Audio. So if you want to check them out, the link is always down in the description. And if you go into checkout, you can use code SOUNDKILLER20 to get 20% off your purchase. So thank you Black Lotus Audio for giving the best tools for music producers. Anyways, let's go into our DAW and get started with this tutorial. So here I have my bases. As I mentioned, they are Machina bases here. So we have voltage, which sounds like this. <laughs> We have this base layered with this one. We also have this secondary base. We have this base as well here for starting. We got this filler base. We got a really cool laser. And we got our secondary filler base. It's really cool. It's really loud right now. The, um, there's a little bit of mixing and mastering. However, that's not the focus for this video because we're going to be turning this into color base. So the first technique we're going to be using are going to go into the base bus here and I'm going to load up pitch map. And so the base bus basically has all my vital bases routed into here. So now if I load up here pitch map. That doesn't sound quite right, so that's because we have to do a little bit of changes here. So for starters, we need to set the key and we need to set the scale. So I'm going to use a pentatonic D sharp minor. And this sounds really cool so far, however, it's very limiting what you can do with pitch map. You can always add pitch map to each individual base and then you can click on the arrows key here and change the tone of the pitch mapping here. Of course, there's no denying pitch map gives some really clean, really quick results. It's really great. So if you own pitch map, it's a very simple and easy way to start making color base very easily from the start. You can also adjust the purify knob here so you can hear a little bit of the original bass since the purify knob is basically the dry wet. Really cool. But let's move into our second patch here, which is Chroma. And basically what Chroma is, is a vocoder preset. So if I go here into the map, we have a little instruction. So if we read our instructions here, it says how to make it work. You'll need an instrument, which in this case is our bass bus. And we need a MIDI out. And the MIDI out needs to be set on port number one. So this is very important. So I'm going to go here. And create a new pattern, place it all the way to the bottom here. I'm going to go here, add new track, MIDI out to port number one. I'm going to start making our chord here. And so one easy way for you to preview your chords here is that what I'm going to do, I'm going to load up a empty blank serum. I'm going to start writing my notes and I'm going to drag this down here. And all those notes are going to be playing. When I select the MIDI out, I'm going to paste it here and drag it all the way out so that it affects the whole bass here. And now... It sounds very clean, it sounds very subtle, but it's very present. And you can just really play around with the voicing here. So it's really powerful like that. And the more layers you have here with the voicing, the deeper it's gonna sound, so it's very cool. And you can really go here and you can start adjusting the vocodex here and really do some really awesome changes. <laughs> All 
our third method of creating color base is by using this plugin sponsored by Synth Audio. So thank you, Synth Audio, for creating Resonator. Resonator is basically Ableton Resonator into a really neat plugin that is very intuitive and it works really awesome in FL Studio. So if you wish to have a Resonator, it's this is a cheap alternative, so thank you. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a pattern here. So you can really tell it's a resonated effect, so it has a really cool tone to it because it is an actual resonator. So leave a comment on what method you prefer. Do you prefer to use pitch map? Do you prefer to use vocodex? Do you prefer to use resonator? Leave a comment and let me know what you guys like to use best. This was a really easy tutorial on different methods of color base. So if you want to use a vocodex version, Machina comes bundled with the chroma patcher preset. That makes it very easy to set up and create your vocodex chain for making color base. Or if you want to use Resonator, link is going to be also in the description so you can go check out Synth Audio's Resonator plugin, which goes really well with Black Lotus Audio's Machina as well. So thank you Black Lotus Audio for sponsoring this video. Thank you Synth Audio for giving me a really awesome Resonator plugin. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you can keep watching content. Anyways, this was Sunkitter. I'll see you next one.